Hi there, today I'm unboxing a Wi-Fi smart switch and this particular switch is by a company called Sonoff. Let's have a quick look around the packaging. It's very nicely packaged and very small compact box. A couple of details about it. So the app you'd want to use with this is Ewe Link, and that's on App Store and Google Play. And these are sort of facilities you've got with it. So this gives you the ability to sort of wire in a product directly into the switch so you can control it remotely. So it provides remote control, timing schedules, share control and smart scenes. Okay, details there. And let's move info there. So Sonoff Basic is the model. And power supply 90 to 50 volts, max current 10 amps. Max power is 2,200 watts. Okay, that's that. Let's open it up, see what you get in the package. So the actual switch, quality control label, some instructions, okay. One side completely in Chinese and the other side all in English. That's great. Some details there to give you an idea how this works. So input and then obviously an output. This probably describes it quite well. So input voltage, output voltage, and then you can have your product there. In terms of connectivity, you'd have the actual switch connecting to your router and via cloud services, you can connect to it via your mobile app. Okay, that's that. And you also got some fixtures with it as well. Okay, so I've laid out everything you get in the packaging. So the screws you get are for these points here. So the four points, just to screw them down. So your cables that you've put in there are secure. Let's have a look at the actual switch itself and check out the sizing. So the length is approximately nine centimeters. This way it's four and then about two and a half. So very small and compact. If we look on the actual build quality, quite firm plastic, reasonably well built. You've got a button there, must be for pairing. You've got indicators for each side, so what to do. So you've got your neutral live and input, and you've got your neutral live and output. If I pull these off, so these are the covers, sort of reveal the connectors. So over here, and you can see the screw terminals there. So you can just unscrew it, place your wire in for your power and your product on this side. So unscrew them, put the wires in, and there you go, easy as that. So good, so far. And obviously once you've put your cables in and you've tightened them up, you can just put these on and then put the screws on just to tighten it up. Okay, so next I'm gonna show how to get this Wi-Fi switch connected. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a cable at one end and this is the input end. So I've got a large amount of cable here and on the end of it, I've got a plug. So, I'm gonna get this connected one end and on the other side, I'm gonna put the cable for the lamp. So I'm gonna to have to take this plug off and put that at the other end. So this will enable me to control it wirelessly. So, quite simple. Get my screwdriver, I'll loosen these. And this is where the input is so neutral here and live here let's get them going in correctly okay there you go next I'll take the plug off and connect the cables to the switch
Now, the other end should say, I can show it clearly, output on there. So I'll loosen the two connectors here. Okay, so both ends are wired in now. Had to trim a little bit of the copper from the lamp side. Now let's put the actual covers on. Take this side. There you go, ready to be used. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes, but obviously if you're doing it, cut the wire slightly shorter, so the actual black area is closer in there, so it's more of a tidier fit. But I'm gonna be doing some other projects as well, so I don't need to go too far in there. So there you go, that's all connected up. Okay, so I've now plugged in the Wi-Fi smart switch, and if you look, you can see a green light flashing. Just bring it slightly closer. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is put the app on our mobile device. So, let me go to the Play Store and we wanna install Ewe Link app. So, if I hit install for that, let's give it a moment to install. Okay, it's installed now, let me hit open. Okay, service agreement and privacy policy. Have a quick read. And then just need to register an account. So then, okay, so once you've signed in, this is what you'll be presented with. So let's click the plus and go into pairing mode. So we need the light to be flashing. And if it's not flashing at the correct speed, you just hold on to it, say five seconds. And there you go, it's rapidly flashing now. Now let's click next. And I have to put in my Wi-Fi password, so let me do that away from the camera. Okay, so that's the next thing you're presented with. So let's make sure the switch is visible in the background. You can see for a moment it said found second generation device and it's registering it now. And there you go, we can just give it a name. Switch. And there you go. Okay, so to use it, all you do, is just click there, turns on, turns off, simple as that. So remotely, you can connect to it. Now, if I just come here, turn my Wi-Fi off, give it a moment, my data's turned on just there. Same thing again. No need to open any ports on your router. Just works straight away. It's a cloud-based connectivity there. If I click here, you go into the actual device itself. Option here to share to another user. You can schedule it to turn on and off at certain times by putting in a timer, so you can put in Start, start time to turn it on and a time to turn it off. Go back from there, you've got a timer. So you could have it counting down, so you could turn it off and say you want it to turn off in half an hour and it will just automatically turn off. There you go. And then a loop timer. If you wanted to have it on in a loop for a certain period. Okay, let's go back and firmware can be upgraded please go to device settings so if i go here you've got settings here and i can install firmware if i want to and there you go works pretty well and quite easy to set up as you can see okay so next i'm going to show how to get the wi-fi smart switch working with google home so we've got the home app here let me click it and we want to just come over on this option and click home control and let's click the plus scroll all the way down and we want to look for 
the word smart initially. So it's smart we link. That's the one you want. Okay, so now you log in with the details you signed up with um, on e we link. Okay, so I've put in my details and now you can see linking with smart we link account. So let's give it a moment to do that. And there you go, it's found the product. So you can assign it to a room if you wanted. So let's just click finish initially and click understood. If I go down, there you go. There's a switch. I can rename it. So I'm gonna rename it to bedroom lamp, like so. Click okay. Okay, so it's renamed. So my Google Home is here. The microphone is back on. So what I can do is say, okay Google, turn on bedroom lamp. Sure, turning the bedroom lamp on. Let's turn this off and say it again. Okay Google, turn off bedroom lamp. All right, turning off the bedroom lamp. There you go. Very simple and easy to integrate with Google Home. Okay, so now I'm gonna show how to get the Wi-Fi smart switch working with the Amazon Alexa. So if I click here, start up the Alexa app. Let's click over here and we go into skills. So the one you wanna enable, which is already enabled on my device is, uh, let's do eWe and there it is, eWe link smart home fan so it's already enabled let's go back and when i go to smart home you can do add device and it will start scanning your network for the new device Okay, and it just said found switch. So if I go, there's the one it's found. If I click on there, I can rename that one as well. So edit name, let's call it the same as before. So bedroom lamp. Go back, if you click here, you can turn it on turn it off. So if we now go to the Alexa and say, Alexa, turn on bedroom lamp. Okay. Alexa, turn off bedroom lamp. There you go. Okay. As simple as that to integrate with the Amazon Alexa. Okay, so you've seen this Wi-Fi smart switch unbox. You've seen what it comes with. You've seen it set up on an Android device. You've seen how to configure it with a Google Home and Amazon Alexa. The idea with this is you can use it as a normal switch on any sort of thing. So I've obviously only demonstrated it with a lamp just here, but can be used for other devices as well. And being so small and compact, it can easily be put in in line with other devices. And Together with that, if you use the actual app you get, so eWe Link, what you can do, you can use scenes to make it do different things as well. So you could actually say, if this lamp ever turns on, get another device turning on as well. So quite smart in that way. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.